Hi guys. Let's wait for a couple people to pop up. Sorry guys, I'm just tagging people so they see that I'm live. Drop a comment when you guys get here, okay? And I actually want you to answer the question of what I named this video. Is your business stagnant? Meaning it hasn't grown in the last few months. We'll just say since COVID has started, okay? All right. I've tagged a million people. I'm, I'm tired of tagging. <laughs> Hi, guys. Wow, there's so many people on tonight. I'm actually really excited. This was a very last minute training. Um, very last minute thought. Hey, Stacy. Hi, Lauren, Brittany. Sarah, Megan, Tana, Hannah, Tana and Hannah, Kelly, Sammy, Dory, Michaela, Ashley, Molly, Woo, Devin. Okay, y'all. So this, um, I really wanted to get your brains moving, especially since fall just, you know, just started for us. Um, so I'm really freaking excited for fall. If you guys have never experienced a fall, get ready. And I know you've heard probably so many people say that. Hey, Court. Hannah, that's awesome. Your business has grown tremendously and I'm so proud of you. So with that being said, um, I'm actually going to swipe over the comments or, um, I'm going to swipe over the comments because otherwise I get really distracted. So the one thing that I wanted to say, okay, so I really want you to be honest with yourself. You do not have to comment, obviously, but um, definitely take some notes and be honest with yourself in regards to has your business grown or have you been stagnant, okay? And if you have grown, how much, have, how much has your business grown, okay? And we'll just say since COVID. Or if you want to do, you know, we just started eight months into the year, so we're almost... I mean, before we know it, 2020 is going to be over, y'all, okay? So whether you want to look as far back as January or December, or if you want to look at when COVID started back in March, February, March time, and compare your business then, okay? So I really wanted to go live because I, I have personally seen um, some leaders who I have seen that their business hasn't really grown in the last few months. And I really do believe that what I'm about to talk to you, the reason why it hasn't grown is, I'm just going to go out and say it. The reason why your business hasn't grown, either like you want it to grow or maybe it hasn't grown at all, is because one of the three legs of your stool is off balanced, okay? And it hasn't just been off balance for one month, it's been off balanced for multiple months, okay? Your, the three legs of your stool for your business, they're never gonna be balanced at the same time, okay? I truly believe that it's never gonna be balanced. One month you might be really good at PRV, one month you and your group might be really good at sale, or sorry, recruiting, another month your focus might be on coaching, okay? But if your business isn't growing, that means that one or more of the legs of success of your stool has been off balance for a good amount of time, okay? I would say longer than a month. Honestly, I would say longer than two months, okay? So I really want you to be honest with yourself. If your business has not grown, which one of those legs has been off balance for some time, okay? Is it off balance because you've put too much focus into one of those stools and that's like you've been your focus for the last six months? Is it off balance because you've put too much focus um, 
on your team and not your and not your personal business? Is it off balance because you haven't given yourself any love and care, okay? Because part of the stool is going to be self-care, okay? So self-care is actually the stool itself, the part where you're going to sit your tail on, okay? And then the three legs are going to be recruiting, sales, and coaching, okay? I'm on my phone, but we all know, we, we all should know what the three legs of success are, okay? Here's a picture of it, okay? So this is your self-care, okay? Then we have sales, PRV, sponsoring, coaching, okay? So you have to have all four of those to have a well-running business, okay? But like I said, one of them, they're not all going to be balanced at the same time, okay? But if your business is not growing, one of those four things has been off for quite some time, okay? So, with that being said... Um, if you guys want to share and drop some comments, because I really want this to be super interactive, super engaged with each other. I really want, um, I really want y'all to be open because guess what, y'all? We all go, we all go through times where our business isn't growing, and guess what? That's okay. But you have to realize that your business isn't growing. You have to realize that and you have to admit it to yourself, okay? Because once you admit it to yourself, hey, my business isn't growing, that's when you can find where the problem is and that's how you fix that problem. So your business can flourish, can grow, okay? So let me see what you guys say. And believe me, there is no, um, no one's gonna judge you. If your business has been stagnant for whatever reason, no one's gonna judge you. There's no judgment here, okay? My business has, has been stagnant before. Katie's business has been stagnant before. All of our business has been stagnant. Whether that's because of personal reasons in your life, maybe you, um, maybe, you know, you went through some like relationship problems with your significant other. Maybe you went into a depression or, you know, there's so many different things. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe your kids have so much going on in their lives. It's okay. No one's going to judge you. Okay. So a lot of people are saying that their sponsoring is off or they haven't sponsored much. So other people are saying, um, so Kelly said, I have a really hard time balancing time with Jesse. Okay, so she is saying that she's having, she's having a hard time balancing mom life or home life with her business, okay? So Kelly, me and you are actually gonna talk about that because if you're having a hard time balancing your business with your home life, then there's something there's something going on behind the scenes with the system you're using, okay? Whatever system you're using, if you're using a system, clearly isn't working for you, okay? Your system is only as good if you're going to use it. There's no point in printing off a system because it looks good, but then you never use it because it's not going to work for you, okay? I'm just trying to read everyone's. Okay, so Hannah said she's really good at recruiting, but her sales aren't as high as she would like them to be. Okay. Lauren says time gets away from me each week. Need to create to focus. Yep, so Lauren, so your, your problem there is you need to find a system that works for you. Okay, so you and Kelly are kind of in the same boat. Like it's a little bit different but essentially it's gonna come down to the system that you're using, okay? So that's why I wanted to come up here. So Stacy, Stacy admits her anxiety's been high, okay? It doesn't have to necessarily be PRV sales, sorry, PRV sponsoring or coaching. It could be in regards to your home life, self-care, what are you doing for yourself? Are you filling your cup up? Y'all, I'm going to turn, I'm like breaking out in hives because I'm drinking wine. Here we are. Mm. So, yes. So, I really wanted to just come on here and get your like wheels moving. Myself included, okay? Myself included. My business has grown a ton, but I will say that I am lacking and I have realized, I realized today that I was lacking 
and I was lacking in the area of recruiting and sponsoring and sharing the opportunity, okay? So, so whatever, okay, Courtney admits it. She says she hasn't put all of her effort like she knows that she can. So, this is, this is your time. I want you to write it down. Okay, and I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to post it. I'm going to make a thread. Actually, I'm going to write it down because y'all know my brain is like, I can't even remember nothing. I am going to post a thread. Okay, so after this training, whatever you wrote down, whatever you were lacking, okay, I want you to write it down, take a picture of it, and I want you to post it in that thread. Okay, and then us as a group, we are going to comment on each other's pictures that we post and see how can we help each other okay because listen a lot of times people looking from the outside in have a better perspective not always but sometimes can have a better perspective on how we can change our business how we can grow okay than ourselves looking because we've been in that spot for how long for so long that we either make excuses or we find reasons why it's okay to stay there and it's not okay okay so that's the exercise we're going to do right after this um but let me write this down because literally my brain is like i don't remember anything like pretty sure there's something wrong with my brain Yes, exactly. We are in this together, together. So I just, I did want to just go over the legs of success um, or the stool itself. Justin Cox actually created this. Justin and Chloe created this. So self-care, okay? It's not necessarily a leg, but it is part of thriving. Whether you are thriving, um, it's part of thriving in your business because if you are not filling your cup up, you are going to run dry. You are going to run out of energy and you are going to at some point regret th the decision of joining, okay? Because being a leader is one of the hardest things I have ever, ever experienced. And I know probably most of you um, can relate to that, okay? It can literally suck you dry. So self-care, in my opinion, is the most important part of your stool, okay? You can disagree with me all you want, but at the end of the day, if you are not, if you're not filling your cup up, then your business, your business is going to lack some way, somehow, okay? What are y'all saying gross to? Oh my God. Just burn the whole bag. Burn it all, Katie, burn it all. That's terrible. Okay, so. If you're lacking in self-care, and I will say self-care is the hardest part of the stool, okay? It is the hardest part of the stool. I will say that it ha it's, it's one of those things that as a human being we are constantly working on, and I, I'm, I'm sure you guys can agree. We are constantly working on being a better person, being healthier, um, you know, taking time for ourselves, whether whatever you have going on, whether you're a mom or you're, you know, you're a wife or maybe you have dogs like me, or maybe you're just like going, 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 always trying to be a people pleaser. Okay. But at the end of the day, you have to be the one to take care of yourself. You have to be the one to step up and say, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to go take a bath for an hour, or I'm going to go for a run because I haven't ran in a week because I've made excuses or I've said this is more important than me taking care of myself because that's what we do it that's what we do as as humans and then even worse we're women okay right y'all women we are the hardest we are the hardest on ourselves 24 7 we beat ourselves up um, we judge ourselves to no end. It's, it's pretty ridiculous and it's almost sad at the same, at the same time. Okay. So my challenge to you guys is this week, I want you to put yourself first before anything. Okay. Before your kids, before your husband or your spouse, your wife, whatever, 
Put yourself before your team, before your customers, whether that's reading for 10 minutes a day, taking a bath for 20 minutes, whether that's going for a walk, um, I don't know, going to get your nails done, your hair done, whatever it is, drinking some wine in quiet, whatever your self-care regimen looks like to you, I want you to do it and I want you to make it a priority. So if you have to write it down in your calendar, in your planner, that is what I want you to do. Okay? Yes, Katie, wake up early. Take 30 minutes. Wake up 30 minutes early and take that 30 minutes of your day. Do whatever you want to do. Sit in the freaking dark if you want to do that. Okay? Put yourself first. All right, so that's number one, self-care. Sales. Number two, guys, if you're on this page, that means that you're a leader. That means that you have one or more, you have one or more teenies, okay? I love my teenies to death, but they are not, they are not, I do not owe them everything and neither do you, okay? My business comes first before my team, before my group, okay? And I want you guys, I want you guys to realize that. Just because you get your first teenie doesn't mean that, you should be responding to them at 12 at night or 2 in the morning or whatever time, okay? That's why we talk business hours. So your business comes first. Just like your mental health comes first and your self-care comes first, your business comes next, okay? You come first, your family comes second, your business comes third, then your team and your group, okay? It goes in that order. Okay, so the first week of the month, and I'm not saying this is how your business should be or this is how you should work your business. I'm only simply giving suggestions on what, what works for me, okay? The first week of the month, and I know Katie does this too, the first week of the month, that is my, that is my week, okay? Yes, I will respond to texts, to emails, to whatever, okay? But that's if I want to, if I'm caught up with what I have going in my business that whenever I receive that message, okay? So with that being said, the first week of the month, I, the, sorry, the last week of the month, I reach out to people who I see have been working, who are recruiting, who are active on the team page, who high, have high sales, who I see are, you know, active on social media. I reach out to them and I say, hey, are you interested in being director for a day? I don't care what you talk about as long as it's an IPA. I don't care if you post once a day or five times a day. I don't care if you actually do a post or if you go live, but are you interested in being director for a day? And then I say, if they say yeah, which I've I've only had one person say no, but um, I've only had one person say no, but then I'll say, okay, what day works for you? Okay, so this entire week, I have someone lined up every day Monday through Friday, to be a director for the day. What does that do? It not only, one, takes the pressure off of me so I can focus on my business, but it also gives that person who is director for the day, it gives them the opportunity to step up and out of their comfort zone so it'll build their confidence, okay? It'll build their confidence. Okay, so... That is just one way. If you guys do something that um, helps, you know, so you can focus on your business whenever that time may be for you, please share it with us. Share, share, share. Okay, we can all learn from each other. All right, next is sponsoring. Sponsoring. Are we really offering the opportunity like we should? And I'll admit, that's where I'm lacking. I'm not offering it like I should. And I think it's just because I've, I've almost gotten, well, sometimes I'll admit I'm lazy and I don't want to have the conversation because I just don't want to talk to people, right? So are you having the conversation? And if you are having the conversations, but you're not recruiting, how are you going about these conversations? Okay. Are you word vomiting? Are you giving them all the information like right then and there before they even say they're interested? Because if you are, you're doing it wrong. Are you asking people you don't even have a conversation or you don't even have any type of relationship with? You're just dropping in their DMs, in their inbox. 
but you have no idea who they are and they have no idea who you are except for just being all of a sudden Facebook friends, Instagram friends. You know nothing about their family. You know nothing about their life. Because if that's you, you need to stop. Okay? And I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. I had a girl on Instagram message me last week. I couldn't even tell you her name. I saw that she had just started following me. And she had liked like two of my pictures. And literally as soon as she liked them, she was in my in basket on Instagram. And I received a message this long. Literally this long. Okay? And it said something about... Um, hey, I love your feed, yada, yada, yada. I sell this product. It was like a facial cleanser product or something. I sell this product. Um, I'm interested if either you want to buy the product or if you want to sell um, and make some money with the product. Okay? Obviously, she had not even really looked at my account because if, because if she looked at my account, she would have saw that I was already with Scentsy, a direct sales company. So I politely declined, and when I politely declined, she rebuttaled and came back and said, um, well, would you like to buy and be a customer? No. No, I don't. I don't. So if that's you, it's okay. It's okay. You will learn, but I don't suggest doing it like that, okay? It's, it, it's, not a, it's not a good look. Okay, you need to build that relationship, that rapport with someone before you just jump in their in basket. Okay, so a lot of you said no. So a lot of you said no, you haven't had the conversations. I'm right there with you. That's why I'm doing this live. Usually when I do a live like this, it's because I have seen a problem in my own business and so I'm coming forth and I know that if I see a lack on my side, then there's got to be so many other people who are also lacking in that area, okay? So, with that being said, once you find where you're lacking and where you haven't put much effort into, that's how you can identify the problem and change the problem, okay? Once you change that problem, then you will see that your, biz your business and your team and your group and your entire Everything is going to grow, okay? So, next. I see, I see the next one that I'm about to talk about, coaching. This is a big one, and I see it with a lot of leaders. I see it with a lot, a lot, a lot of leaders. And um, if this is you, you really, need, you really need to change the way that you are doing this. Um, if you are not coaching your teamies, then you don't need to be a leader, okay? And I'm saying that with all the love. I'm saying it with all the love. Um, I have multiple people on my team who are not coached by their front line, or not by their front line, who are not being coached by their sponsor. And it's very sad. And so I have specifically said, hey, just pretend that I am your sponsor and come to me when you have questions, okay? It is sad and it's not right. If you want to recruit, you need to coach. Does that mean you have to coach every single day, every week? No, not necessarily. No. Okay. But you still need, they need to know that you're there. It doesn't mean you hand feed them. It means that you give them the tools and show them where they can find tools and things that are going to help them grow their business, okay? At the end of the day, they have to be the ones to put in the work, okay? And if you have someone who is sucking the life out of you, then you just need to have that hard talk. Hey, I'm not going to hand feed you, but I am here to help guide you and mentor you and to show you where you can find these things so you can grow, not only as a person, but as a business owner. And that way, when you start when you start growing a team, you can do the same for your teamies. Okay? Stacy, I am going to smack you, girl. You are a damn good coach. And I'm just being, like, I already know for a fact. So you better quit it. Okay? Hannah, I know you're a freaking amazing coach. I've seen it firsthand. So, y'all, I'm broken out in all the halves. This is what 
Why did, I don't understand why. So, that's awesome, Tana. That's awesome. That's exactly what you have to do. You don't have to be at their beck and call. You don't have to give them everything. You just, you literally just have to just show them where the resources are, okay? Show them where the resources are and just guide them. Guide them. You don't have to give them everything, okay? And I know, I know you. I know my front line on here, I know half of them have probably messaged me for something and I will straight up tell them, hey, this is where you find it, okay? I'm sure there's people on here that I've told that and they can vouch for me. But I've also been guilty of hand feeding teenies and what is hand feeding teenies? Literally, that's just going to make the situation worse because if they realize, oh, I can get the answer easily and faster by messaging Ray, then I'm just going to keep messaging her because she just keeps keeps feeding me the answers. I've been there. I've done it. I've done it. Don't do it. Take it. Take advice from me. Don't do it. Do not do it. Okay. So that is, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, if your business isn't growing, it's because Something with your stool is off, okay? Something with your stool is off balanced. And it hasn't just been off balanced for a month. It's been off balanced, I would say personally, for at least three to four, five, six months, okay? And I get it. We all go through slumps. We all go through slumps. Some of us are in our winning phase. Some of us are in our growing phase, okay? Some of us are in our stagnant phase, but guess what? That's where you realize where you're at and you change it. And that's when growth is going to come, okay? And y'all, if let me, I want to know in the comments, actually, is this your first fall with Scentsy? Drop them in the comments, okay? Lauren. Lauren, let me tell you this, okay? You cannot make someone want this business. You cannot make them want it, okay? So my best advice to you is, my best advice to you and to anyone else who feels like this, if you have someone who says that they want the most out of this business, but you don't see the action behind their words, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Literally, the only thing you can do in that instance is love them but leave them, okay? Because they will suck you dry. If you have to constantly motivate someone, they're going to suck you dry, okay? Because guess what? Y'all, we're trying to motivate ourselves. Yes, you can motivate someone every now and then like, hey, pull yourself out of that freaking slump, but you can't do it every day. You're motivating yourself every day, okay? So if you have teenies that aren't putting in the work, but you've given them every tool in the book, love them but leave them, okay? Love them but leave them. So, yep, the resources are free. There are so many resources on this page, on their team pages, on YouTube, on the workstation. Shoot, the workstation is all they need. It's all they need. All they need. So this is so awesome that so many of you, this is your first fall with Cincy. Y'all aren't even ready, okay? I will say my, I know it's not all about money, but I know a lot of us are here to make money, okay? My best paycheck um, is always in the fall, okay? And that's just because like your customers are pumped, people are ready for Christmas, our holiday collection is the bomb, and you guys already saw that from SFR, so just get ready, okay? So, thanks guys for coming on. I know it was last minute, but we had like 40-something people up here. That is awesome. So, I love y'all, and um, I'm going to start that thread as soon as I'm done, as soon as I click finish, okay? And then also, I am going to upload this to YouTube, but bear with me because when I do that, 
it literally it literally takes me like two hours to upload it because my internet is that slow um so my advice to you okay just a little wrap up find what part of the stool is unbalanced and fix it okay and i really want you to focus on it that one thing this month okay you need to have high sales Listen, if you're trying to reach director, this is my advice to you. I did it for the first year, okay? I did it, I hit director in five months, and I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because I know a lot of you, your goal is director, okay? So be really good at the title you're at, and the rest will come. The promotion will come, okay? Focus on the people, and the promotion will come, all right? So 2,000 PRV a month, two recruits a month. Okay, and then you need to be coaching those people. Whoever you're recruiting, you need to be coaching those people. If they're kidnappers, whatever. Keep going and grow your front line. Grow, grow, grow. Offer the opportunity, okay? So, I love y'all. I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys later.